Now, just because we can use custom cursors within our web application doesn't mean that we should use them. However, they do add a touch of creativity. So if you want to use them, that is exactly what we will cover in this tutorial. So let's go. Our demo app consists of a single div that has a CSS class name called app applied that contains a single child div containing the text hello fam. We will use the app CSS class to make the components take up the entire height and the width of the screen. And just to make sure that the CSS is working, we apply a nice purple color and we can see that our text is now purple on screen. And you can also see the default cursor, which is just a simple pointer. Now customizing the cursor is done via the CSS cursor property. And as you can see, this property takes a number of values. For example, we can set it to something like help. And if we jump back to the UI, you can see that our cursor has turned into this question mark icon. One more value that we want to cover is the auto value where basically the browser will determine the cursor based on the current context. And this is a good fallback value to have whenever you customize the cursor. Now the key to custom cursors is the ability to provide a custom URL as the value for the cursor property. And you can actually provide any image file. Just make sure it's not too big. Otherwise the browser will fail to render it. Now even SVG is supported. However, I find that it works best if you use a PNG. And as for the size, keep it around 32 pixels. That is what I have over here. The size of the image becomes the size of the cursor and you cannot scale it up or down. So let's jump back to our CSS file and specify the URL for this particular PNG as the first option with the fallback to the value auto. And congratulations, now you have a nice cat cursor within your application. And if we zoom in, you can see that it is quite close to the original cursor in terms of its view. Now, one thing to take into consideration is that different HTML elements come with their own cursor defaults. As an example, the button comes with its own cursor and our customized cursor does not show when the user hovers over a button. Now fixing that is pretty easy. We can select any element that we want to customize and we can do that with the nested selector as well. For example, here we are only customizing the buttons that are under the app CSS class. And for these buttons, we can customize the cursor property and we are free to use a different cursor over here. For example, here we are using Nyan pointer. And with this change in place, if we jump back to the application, we have our custom cursor outside. And when we hover over the button, we have a custom mitten specially for the button element. So you can start going crazy now and add as many custom cursors as you want. So let's just look at another design. Within the final project that you can find on GitHub, I have a new version of both of these cursors. So let's just use that. And now when we jump back to our application, we have a nice black cursor. And when we hover over the button, we have a darker version of that mitten as well. I'll wrap things up there. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this. Leave a comment about what you would like to see next. Check out the other tutorials on this channel and I will see you in the next one.